The moon is in Capricorn right now. It's time to be serious. It's time to work. Work hard. Stop laughing. Hey, today I wanted to just uh, talk a little bit about the signs that are usually the most skeptical when it comes to astrology. Just, just want to talk about that for a second. Can we talk? Can we talk, honey? I know that anybody of any sun sign can be a skeptic. Okay, I understand that. And anybody of any sun sign can be a believer. But from my observations, the following people really have a tough time with grasping the idea of astrology being something that is valid and really is important and is real. First of all, it's usually Earth moons. And what I mean by that is people who were born when the moon was in Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. The reason why is the moon rules your subconscious inner thoughts and how you process emotion, like how, how you emotionally process everything around you that you see, hear, and feel, and everything, right? So someone who has the moon and their, their inner mind in an earth sign, earth signs are very practical and they are very material. And things have to be tangible and material for them to actually fully believe that they're true and that they're real, right? They're, they're realists. They're all about the real world, you know? Anything else is kind of like, you're believing fairy tales or like old people say, it's a hoax. You're believing a hoax, honey. Yeah, that's more like a Capricorn moon since they're kind of the, the old people of the Zodiac Capricorns are. Another reason why it would be hard for somebody that has a moon or Mercury in Capricorn and has a Capricornian mind to grasp the idea that astrology and the study of like how the planets moving around affect human life on Earth uh, is real and valid is because Capricorn is a sign that's all about high achievement and that includes achieving degrees like working really hard in a in an institution and you know then earning a degree and you know congratulations you have earned this piece of paper that says that you are smart and you've worked hard to achieve an education you know Unfortunately, with astrology, there's not many options out there for us. Most of us are self-taught. We learn by reading books. We learn by reading things on the internet like joining forums and discussions. We learn under a guru who may have, you know, gotten a degree or something themselves, but may not. They're just very, very skilled in the subject. Um, and also because a lot of studies with astrology and things like that have to do with uh, you use your intuition a lot and people can't see your intuition so therefore whatever you're saying that has to do with something that you intuit is really hard for a person whose mind is very material and you know practical to grasp as being the truth because how do they know you're not just kind of saying some BS, pulling something out of your butt, you know, out of the thin air or something? How do they know that? If you just say, I just know this, they're going to say, well, show me proof. How are you going to prove that? You can't just pull your intuition out of your head real quick and say, here, here it is. You can't come up with a degree or a certificate that says, here, I went to this school and this institution proved that I have an intuition. So because of that it's really hard for them to grasp the validity of astrology unfortunately and of course I know there's some cappies out there that do believe but they might have other placements in their chart that bring a different energy to them that um, gives them the ability to believe in something that isn't tangible you know something that's not materialized in front of them Taurus moons especially they're all about what they can feel and see and touch and smell and taste you know they're all about the five senses everything that is like physically like they can touch they can you know physically touches their five senses 
is real to them. And if it can't, if it can't be like seen or heard or, or felt or touched or whatever, then they're like, I don't, I don't see how it's real. I, I don't believe in it. Virgo moons, they are very much into logic. They're very much in the logical, practical thinking. Things are black and white with them. It's like either it is or it isn't. You know, they don't take any in-betweens. They don't say, well, if it's floating off in space somewhere, it could still be true. No, they're like, uh, yeah, where's the logic in that? You know, where's the scientific theories and what sources do you have to back this up? You know, and astrology is something that is, it's a little bit flexible in a way. You know, there is some structure to it. And Capricorn moons, they're all about structure. Capricorn is a sign that is completely about structure. And if something is lacking structure, which admittedly astrology does kind of, it, it's a little flexible, like I said. So a Capricorn moon is really going to look at it like, this is ridiculous BS. Like, it's not fully structured and solid, you know. So therefore, it is just some rubbish and I don't understand how you incompetent fools believe in this rubbish you know that's that's like what something that a Capricorn moon might believe um, about someone who believes in astrology now the other signs are pretty much the same signs but if they have mercury in an earth sign mercury and Taurus Virgo or Capricorn because mercury is the lower mind it's like the logical mind how you process data and information whereas the moon is processing emotional thoughts and feelings mercury is like information it's data so if they can't grasp a hold of the um of the idea that you know the planets moving around affects like human life on earth if they can't grasp it with their lower mind their logical mind they're really going to blow it off and dismiss it as being something that's not, you know, it's not feasible. It's not, it's not reality. You know, they're really grounded in reality. The other signs are Aquarius moon and Mercury and Aquarius. Because Aquarius, although they can be very open-minded, especially open to things that are unorthodox and out of the ordinary. And Aquarians, um, you know, once if they are open to the idea of astrology, they can really come up with some interesting concepts because they think outside of the box and they believe in things that are more outer, like out there, you know. Um, Aquarius is ruled by, well, it's ruled by um, an ancient Aquarius ruler is Saturn which is like very grounded. So Aquarius is a fixed sign and they can be very stubborn in the way that they think. They can be very fixed in their ways and in their beliefs. However, it's co-ruler and modern day ruler, ruling planet is Uranus. Uranus, Uranus, it all sounds nasty, but that planet up there that rules, you know, um, technology and electricity and really cool like outer worldly beliefs. Um, it's one of my favorite planets. I can go on about it. But anyway, that planet rules Aquarius also. So Aquarians are open to thinking outside the box. However, since they do have that fixed stubborn side to them, they once they grasp a hold of a belief, they like stick with it and it's really hard to change their minds. And Aquarius, like their opposite sign, which is Leo, which is another one on my list <laughs> of a uh, ones that could be a little bit sarcastic and, and you know, difficult to grasp astrology. Um, Aquarius can kind of be, you know, a little bit like diplomatic and like, you know, they really believe that what they believe, that's all there is and it's the final say, you know, and they can kind of speak in a way. Aquarius, Mercury and Aquarius, they can kind of like drag out their words a little bit just like Mercury and Leo that makes them sound a little bit regal and like they really know a lot and like Aquarian Mercury and Aquarius they can be very scientific in the way that they think you know they appreciate science and scientific theories you know and they can kind of talk about those and just be like oh yes I know all about this I knew that already you know they're very forward-thinking and futuristic so you'll hear, hear Mercury and Aquarius people say, I knew or I know that already. And, and Mercury and Leo as well. So sometimes they can have a hard time. Like if they're convinced already that astrology is not valid and it's not like 
you know, based on scientific theories that are actually proven and factual, you know, they will stick with their idea that nope, nope, it's not true, it's not real, and you're just an imbecile and a fool for believing it. Now, the other sign is um, Leo like Mercury and Leo, maybe a moon in Leo too, they might have a more difficult time grasping things just because Leo, you know, they're a fixed sign as well. Fixed meaning they can be kind of stubborn in their ways and once they believe something to be true, they're like, and, and you believe something different, they could be like, get the heck out of here. <laughs> You're telling me that the day that I was born explains like my whole life story yeah 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 oh wow you are such a fool you're such an idiot yeah that's the way that leos will react sometimes mercury and leo moon and leo um they can react that way towards astrology i've noticed especially if they're a leo like a leo sun maybe that was born with like mercury and virgo they are the worst i have gotten it from those only those are the ones that challenge me all the time and I'm just like whatever I'm not gonna try to explain things to you because you're gonna be too fixed in your way of thinking and you're not gonna get it so anyway the the last sign is Gemini now Gemini they're open to learning new things and they can process information very quickly but see that's the thing they, they think fast and they process information so fast that something that goes as deep as astrology, they're not going to fully be able to dive into it and really get... Because astrology is very, very, very super complex. It's not just as simple as you're born in May, so you're either a Taurus or Gemini. It goes so much deeper than that. So the deep concept, deep concepts of it, they might not be able to get because of that fact that it takes so much time and information and if they have to stay stuck on one subject and a deep subject like that for too long they're gonna get bored and they're gonna move on to the next thing so they might have difficulty really grasping the deep in-depth information that um, astrology entails so those are my observations with the signs that have the most difficulty grasping astrology if you have any other ones um, that come to mind please let me know and we can talk about it and um, you know once again remember we have we are made up of all different signs uh, the planets travel through all the signs of the zodiac so you're not just one sign one more that I forgot was Aries now Aries might have a hard time grasping astrology because Aries are very simple they're quick and simple so to try to get them to sit still long enough to really really focus on something that they can't necessarily like see in front of them or do and take action with it might be hard for them mercury and aries sun and aries moon and aries they won't moon and aries won't be able to yeah they won't be able to like sit and think for that long they're gonna get bored they're gonna need to get up and be active and like do something else they could be very simple so to try to get them to dive deep is going to be kind of difficult for some Aries like a moon in Aries or Mercury in Aries especially so so that was my interpretation um, if you have any other suggestions please let me know if you have any thoughts or anything and again remember this is just isolating those particular signs, those particular energies, if you have other planets in your natal chart that make you a believer, although you do have Mercury or Moon in Capricorn or so on and so forth, then that is awesome. But I'm just letting you know who I have noticed has the most difficult time and think that we're all just a bunch of idiots believing in a bunch of hooey. That's another old person word, huh? <laughs> All right, talk to you guys soon. Peace.